Because of the pandemic, there is no Park Avenue Festival this year. The second straight year that COVID has canceled it. Some businesses on Park Avenue are getting creative to make the most of the weekend. Alex Love is live for us now on Park Avenue with this story. Alex. So behind me is the Dragonfly. Next to them is the Public House, each having their own live music performances and having unique food vendors come out, making the best of what's far from the usual bustling atmosphere brought to the street. Once again, a weekend meant to bring out hundreds of vendors promoting their own businesses for thousands of locals had to be canceled. While the decision was made months ago, this festival would have happened on the weekend. Monroe County had a seven-day average of new COVID cases hitting 84. I think we would have been okay if we did have the festival. And, uh, you know, I really miss it. Working at the hospital, I, I think keeping the cases down in our community is definitely important. Um, so limiting social interaction and social contact, especially in like a big social gathering with a lot of different people coming from different places is probably a good idea. The many restaurants who line this block would typically benefit from thousands of dollars in revenue sales, but decided to do their own thing to make the best of the weekend. Yes, I could tell you that it would be packed um, pretty much all day. And today, as you can see, it's not exactly like that at the moment, but unfortunate. But again, we understand. Everyone is keeping their heads up for next year, remembering the good the festival brings to the community and is well worth the wait. A bunch of vendors come from like all around Rochester and it's great. Like it's all different types of foods, different cultures and like different arts, all different types of venues and arts and crafts basically. You know, we just go up and down probably both days and we usually buy a couple things a day and you see a ton of people doing that. So it's great having vendors coming in from everywhere and it's really good for the businesses along Park Ave. Many of the restaurants are staying open for their usual Saturday hours, offering live music and a lot of other, other fun events, so plenty of time for anyone to come out and see what the streets still have to offer. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. All right, Alex, thank you.